as you will come to see, that cost must sometimes be paid by even the most innocent. You may find this tale asks more questions than it answers, dear visitor, but let us state a few things plainly. Know that this chapter takes place near the very end of our tale. It is 1680 AD, Northern Italy. You will play the part of Caliban, the scion of a broken lineage struggling to understand your dark inheritance. Let your questions guide you. As you can see, the world you will explore is large, and so you will need to move around in a special way. Hold down the thumb pad on either hand to select a point to blink to, then let go to blink. Yeah. Good. Blink to the statue, and we will begin our story. Alright guys, so this game is called Caliban Below. It is an interactive story, it is a little bit different than I guess maybe what we're normally used to or whatever. But unfortunately I couldn't get the quite beginning of it, but you guys heard most of it um, because there was no play menu. As soon as you launch the game it starts talking and I'm not even in the middle of the room when it starts. So um, basically we're, so I think, I think this story is what he just explained, is that we're a guy uh, who inherited uh, some mysterious property from our, you know, grandparents, father or something, grand uncle, and we're figuring out why, you know, why, what is, what's going on and whatnot. This opulent realm hides a dark past. It is glitching out severely. Wow, dude, you can't even the handle family lands sprawl for miles deep into old forests, where so dude. the stories say the artifacts of a much older time can still be found. As a child, you were warned against venturing into this forgotten realm. For while few traces of this older time remain, it is said they crown an unfathomable darkness, there it is. best lost to all memory. And so your dark inheritance waits beyond this portal. The bonds between generations are riven. A young life is forgotten. And whatever fragments remain are faint as motes of dust in moonlight. So begins your story. As this day wanes, a full moon will rise. And as you struggle to remember how you came to this darker place, it is that very light which will guide your way in a realm below. I don't know if I'm actually going to do anything. I think we're just listening to this guy. Why does the sun not rise? Just endless moons. It's like he's right in my ear. Oh, it says it is an interactive, so maybe this is the first little part. But the first little bit was... Well, the seasons broken. pass, the stars are measured, the light is caught. The moon is so bright. This is dark. <laughs> is it not completely balanced right? Bro, you can't see anything. This autumn moon, how many cold moons have I come up here to find? What? And why is this route the only one to throw light into the temple deep? Hello? Is this a person? Well, it was a person. I know you. Oh. Wait. What held what? your gaze here? That necklace on the altar? I've seen this. But before this endless dream began, I left her at the water's edge. The water's edge. This has got some creep factor going on to it. It looks good. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks good. And I know my computer can run it, but it, it, it was struggling when it first loaded, when it first loaded the assets. I left her at the water's edge. Is that a thing? He says the water's edge, but like, there's like a little side thing right here. 
Though many centuries may pass, ere these secrets be known, I place them here with a stylus of iron put you to find some day and know what lies here in this realm. I saw with my own eyes, let me get closer. I saw with my own eyes today the birth of a god emerge from blood of the dying and bound of the souls of the of those known at his calling. The vow of Ovando has proven true. The once a man is now something more. He shapes the souls of men slain at his hand. Some to imprison some of these are like capital, some to imprison within the winter to feed Ovando or prevent his death. Others are forced in a great bell, which when struck bays a dark chanting that serves the minds of all who hear. It is called the voice of Avando. Woe to those who suffer the ter its terrible call. Pity one, for I will surely soon be found, but in only last movement I share this warning. Beware of Ovando and his terrible voice. Your only hope is flight from this dark ground. Says. Oh, what the crud? We teleported it down. I guess we're not supposed to go back up? Or is that just like a little Easter egg? That's really this cool. Machine. This old machine. edge. The water's edge. I mean, I hear water. They say yeah. that mists are the memory of gods. Uh... Really? Avando. Are you... Avando? Are you gonna hurt me? I'm so cold. Oh, crud, he looks at me. What the freak? Find the labyrinth you seek in the temple deep. What? But know that you are merely lost inside yourself. This is Voldemort's voice? Return to me when you wish to forget. <laughs> Talk about goosebumps, man. What the crud? The fact that it knew where I was. This is the girl. Hey, I have your necklace. Is this where you want me to go? Do you want it? A thousand points of light. Trapped in this pool for a thousand years. I must know only the faintest hint of what these machines were built to do. These wheels and chains, lashed with tendon over bone. But tonight, the autumn moon returns, and I must be quick. Do you dream as I do? So I, I am flooded with love and horror. Some grave debt lies between us, and all I long for is to forget. Can I walk out here? <laughs> I just like fall. Okay, I'm going back. I don't know. I don't know if I did a thing I was supposed to. The guy has amazing voice acting in this. Yeah, it's always dark until you this turn. place at last shall see light again. Why can this temple be lit only by this one moon? I need more time to explore this labyrinth, but it cannot be done in pitch black. What? Look at that dude. I love the atmosphere of this game. Or story. I fear I'm lured into a cult.
cul-de-sac. This Where's curiosity the... keeps me from finding whatever Where's pathway out of dreams which I may have followed in. That they were talking about. I have heard your toll as if in the ether winds of a shallow sleep, summoning, as though some spirit bade me fulfill oh, what the freak? done here. I remember uh -huh. now. I was alive. I was a boy named Caliban. And though I seem to forget all oh, things, I must remember I belong to the world. It comes through the freaking mirror. In Ovanda's shadow. As the light seeps away again, I must try to remember that whatever oh, I may now be, I once was a boy named Caliban. Once I was alive. I was alive. I was alive. I was alive. Oh, everything's painting the block. I can't see anything. What the cries? What is going on? Oh, that's it. That was the end. Oh man. Oh, so that was pretty cool though. So there wasn't a whole lot to that and they even what is this black thing here in front of me? Blackthorn is What is in front of me? Oh maybe that's my that's still my character, I think. <laughs> or something. Something's in front of me. Oh, I think it's done. Okay, so that's what I was saying is there wasn't a whole lot to that. There was, you know, it it definitely it was, I've been in it's bright in here has been pitch black for so long but there wasn't like I said there wasn't a whole bunch to that it was more of just atmosphere and the guy was just narrating it and I really wasn't sure what was going on it definitely had like if there was like more of like he added the puzzle aspect not just turning that one little thing to introduce it but actually having puzzles in the room but putting that amount of emphasis on the on the voice and the storytelling and the interacting like with the ghost so I could see the ghost but it was a thing of like, is that gonna hurt me or is it gonna look at me? You know, how, what is, what is it going to do to me? And then it got right to me and it was like so close to my face and it started like whispering in my ear, you know, something like that. It, it gives you like the little heebie jeebies, but then you go down to that, to the water and it's like, I don't know what, what that did or anything. And then we got to the very end and there was a complete twist hitting because you first, you finally get to see yourself <laughs> and then maybe even like, if it wasn't meant to be a thing, you like stick your hand out. See, that would have been cool if you stuck your hand out to the mirror and when you went up, it grabbed your hand or something like that. And then, then like, you know, that's how it fades. But the guy, you know, the main guy that you are, that you are playing his character, you find out at the very end that you once were alive. And then that it, it's, that, that was really, that was pretty good. That is a pretty good twist ending. Guys, if you want to check this out, <laughs> and if you want to go in and see it and experience, I know just watching it in just the video format, it, VR never does it justice. Guys, go ahead and check it out. A link to the game will be in the description down below. My name is Shane for Games. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep on playing.